You guys ready? Let's go. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So you guys know we're a huge Tesla advocate here. You know we got a Model S, a Model 3. We love EVs in general. And we actually just realized we never did a full walkthrough of the new refresh Model S that we've had for right about six months or so now, I guess. Maybe a little more. So I want to go ahead and take the opportunity to give you guys a walkthrough, show you the cargo space, and do all those things that somehow uh, we neglected to do. So, having said that, stay tuned, thumbs up this video. If you guys have any questions specifically about the yoke, the car itself, uh, or even how it compares to our Model 3, let me know. Comment down below, we'll make sure we can answer all those that we can. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see here, we have every aspect of the vehicle open for storage. And we'll start right with the frunk. The frunk is pretty tiny. It goes a little deeper than what you would expect out of the Model 3, I believe, but it's not significantly larger. You can maybe store a carry-on. For comparison, here is that Tesla bag that comes with the charging cables, and you can see how much room it takes up, but there is some depth involved as well. Aside from that, Let's go ahead and close this baby up. And when you move around to the inside of the vehicle, you'll see it is quite spacious. Plenty of leg room for obviously the passengers. Obviously your driver is gonna be very equally satisfied. Coming inside, you do have those two wireless charging pads. And let me turn this down. So you have your wireless charging pads here. You have a little bit of storage here for whether you want sunglasses, change, uh, fast passes, whatever you might need here. It actually slides down even further. And if you slide it all back, you have a quite substantially deep third compartment to store items as well. This is also where you find your USB-C chargers. Uh, as you can see, we have our uh, remote in here if we play video games. And then you do have your cup holders. And then if you want to cover all of this and not utilize it, it actually all does slide back and you get that nice clean finish. You obviously do have your performance pedals in here as well. The front passenger and driver seats are obviously ventilated for heat and cool. The rears are only for cool. One other call out inside the front of the car is your armrest where you do have even more additional storage. As you can see here, where our uh, DJI Osmos is. And right in the headrest, right over here, on both sides and on the driver's side are actually where you're gonna find your ANC, your active noise cancellation speakers that are gonna pump that white noise in once it gets calibrated. So beyond that, close that up in the rear you can see exactly how much legroom you have since there's no gearbox or anything you have obviously that flush look on the floor you have those ventilated seats in the back that we were talking about and to give you an example this is i'm about 5'10 and you can see i have plenty of legroom hitting the back and no issues back here you obviously do have that rear entertainment system if you have passengers back here you saw how it activated as soon as i sat down what you're going to be able to do is obviously control your fan settings those seat heaters like we talked about music your studio stuff if you want netflix hulu youtube all that is right here and your sound setting as well not too much in the rear there are not any anc pieces in the back here keep that in mind you do have a little button on the back of the armrest here to pull that down and you do have two more cup holders and two more wireless charging pads with the addition of a very very thin storage section right here as well not too much but it's nice to always have a little extra storage than not let's move back out to the back and i'll show you guys the trunk really quick so here's where i think the model s really shines so obviously, since it is a hatchback, you can see through the vehicle altogether. You have a substantially large section back here to house a variety of stuff. 
I fit a 65 inch TV in the box in here. You obviously do have your regular storage compartment down here, which is quite depth. It's definitely deep. You can see just how much room and storage you can put down there. You obviously do also have a side compartment here that is also pretty large that I obviously have a jacket down in, some envelopes, and obviously it's all covered up pretty nicely with this. So you can see just how nice that fits. You have a little extra storage here with a little band. And obviously you have your newly designed cover for your hatch. So this is nice and uh, it's actually magnetic now, not like it was before. Uh, it feels a lot more sturdy. And obviously you can fold it up if you need to pile stuff up in here, or you can simply just pull it right off. So as you guys can see, there's plenty of storage in this vehicle. There's a reason to get such a highly reputable rating due to storage just in a sedan like this. Uh, the hatch really does give you a whole bunch of more value added space. Obviously you have that frunk that also adds to it. Uh, even though it's not that significant, it is nice to be able to hold just one, uh, carry on luggage or anything of that nature so that's it for this model s comparison video really showing you how large it is inside if you want to see one of these for our model 3 as well let us know comment down below and we'll make sure to look into it thanks for watching guys thumbs up this video really helps and we'll catch you in the next one peace